Hey, what is up guys? I device help here. Welcome back to the channel and a very interesting move today coming from Apple releasing a software that I don't think anyone saw this one coming. iOS 13.7 beta 1. Now, at first this software uh, appeared to be released to the general public, but no, it looks like Apple has released beta 1 for iOS 13.7. Now, keep in mind, no other iOS update has ever reached iOS uh 0.6 or 0.7 iOS 13 definitely a record-breaking uh, software in terms of releases in this video of course I'm going to go over some of the latest details as into why Apple released the software why is this software even in beta form and uh, some of the things I've noticed so far within the software now iOS 14 of course is about a month maybe a month and a half uh, from being released here to the general public could this mean that apple is intending to push ios 14 release date a little further down we'll just have to wait and see but one thing i do want to note right away is that ios 13.7 uh, the build number is an official build if you will as you see there is 17 h 33 this appears to be an official release as a gold master copy will probably won't see any additional betas for this software and apple will most likely be releasing the software to the general public here in the next several weeks if not in a week or so now what's new with the software well in ios 14 and previous versions of ios 13 apple uh, required for users to download a exposure notification application from your local government to opt in to the exposure notification system built into ios so for example in ios 14 here running on this iphone 11 if i go to the exposure notifications the system is currently active i'm using an application called COVID wise and this is the application right here now this application is from my local authority or local government and this activates or will opt me in in order to get used to the exposure notification or have use of the exposure notification system that is how it is set as of right now well ios 13.7 now gives you the ability to opt in to exposure notifications without requiring you to download a third-party application now this may not be available for everyone it depends on the region and some people or some users may be required to download an application regardless but apple is aiming to enable exposure notifications without the need of having a third-party application as you can see there so turning on exposure notifications without the requirement of a third-party application and that's pretty much everything we see so far with ios 13.7 as you can see here lets you opt in to the COVID-19 exposure notification system without the need to download an application. And this release also includes bug fixes. So I'm gonna be digging around the software. I'm going to, of course, test the software thoroughly to see if there's any additional improvements in regards to battery with this software. Uh, there is some bug fixes. We may not ever know what those bug fixes are, but definitely a software that's quite interesting. And as I mentioned, no one uh, probably saw this one coming. And as I mentioned, guys, this one will most likely only have one beta testing and then be released to the general public so there it is in the developer portal as beta one so let me know what you think in the comments down below why do you think apple releasing this one here other than the exposure notification system why release this now so close to ios 14 do you think apple is going to be pushing back ios 14 a little further knowing that the iphones will most likely be delayed this year let me know your thoughts in those comments down below this was just a quick first look at 13.7 and beta one and i'll see you on the next one peace